Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry. Welcome back to another episode in our Forest Farm Series here on Survival Dispatch. Today we've got a quick tip for you that I can guarantee you more than half of you have never realized this, and we didn't realize this until a while back, and it's been a life changer. Yeah, it has. Um, we've posted this in the past on our uh, other channel, and mm -hmm. I think one or two people claim that they knew something about it. Usually it's, I am 63 years old and just found this out today. And what the <laughs> heck has happened to me? How could I be so stupid? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's one of those things that's so easy to overlook and we don't want to give it away yet, but this will change your life if you use a grease gun. Yeah, definitely. Plain and simple. Yep. So hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll catch you on the flip side. Today we're here to talk about how you put grease into a grease fitting and pretty simple process people have been doing it as long as i've been around and a whole lot longer but i see people insert this little ball in there and then they try to hold the grease gun to it while they're trying to pump with one hand and it keeps popping well let me loosen it up a little bit it keeps popping off and they can't figure out why it won't stay on there and so many of them don't realize you just turn this little doohickey right here and it it grabs that ball and it's on there so just to you know it's, it's there and just to demonstrate that i'm going to pop a little hole in this board right here and show you that it's actually really grabbing so we're going to just insert this little grease fitting in there boy that was a good fit <laughs> got lucky on that one so now, normally people would come up there and slide that thing on there and they're having to hold it on there and if they get the pump and it's popping around and it'll slide off. Most people don't realize you just turn this down like that and you can pull, I could break that board in two. It's on there. It's not coming off. Now I've got two hands. I can pump my grease gun all day long and get what I need done and when I'm done, Spin that thing loose and kind of pull out on it, and when it gets loose, it pops right off. You go to the next one, pop it on there, and it seems like some of them are a little tighter than others. You might need to loosen a little bit extra, pop it on there, snug it down, pump your grease, and go. I like this grease gun because you can do it one-handed, and you could hold it on there if you needed to, but there's no sense in it. it. It will stay on there if you crank that thing down, and uh, a lot of times, you can't get grease to go into the fitting because it's not on there tight. It's real wobbly where once you tighten it down and you've got it on there uh, it's on there tight there's not much room that grease is going to be more likely to get forced into that greaser so it's a simple little procedure but it works <laughs> i'm going to show you a close-up of what how this this end works but basically what it does is you see this ball hitch right here this is the same as that greaser as you uh, crank this around and clamp it down it's pushing those metal tabs in and they grab that ball and then they're stuck on there and they won't come off. You pump your grease in it and then when you're done, you loosen it back up and boom, they're off of there. So let's let's go ahead and we're gonna put this in the vise and I'm gonna show you a close up of that. So in this close up, you can see that when you attach this grease gun to this fitting, the fitting has this little shoulder all the way around. So the grease gun slides over it and this area here, it slides in there. And you notice how these are kind of spread out right now and there's a gap there well when you screw this on there once you've placed it onto the fitting watch those little gaps close up and that's basically causing those things to pinch down around this once this is clamped down on the fitting your hands free you no longer have to hold this onto the fitting you can use your hands to work the grease gun or do whatever you need to do and then come back, loosen it back up, and it will pull off of that fitting again. We hope we've changed your lives for the better with this video. I mean, it, when Dad thought about this, it was just like, light bulb, why did we not think about this before? I mean, I can't tell you how many thousand times I put a <laughs> grease gun to a Zerk, and you know, sometimes it goes on and works great, and sometimes mm -hmm. it don't. Sometimes it's loose enough that the grease is squishing out around it, mm -hmm. and making a big mess, and you gotta get it lined up, push on it, and try and pump the pumper. 
It's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Sometimes it would take both of us to make it happen. One yeah. person holding the hose and the other person pumping. Yeah. And, and then, and then uh, we've asked countless people <laughs> in the last few years since yeah. we figured that out. Nobody that we've talked to personally uh -uh. knew that. They said, well, I knew you could adjust it, but I would adjust it until I got it to work most of the time yeah. and I'd leave it there. And that's what I always did. I knew it turned, but to turn it while it's on the Zerk to tighten it up and grab, just, it I can't understand, understand, understand how, I made it 58 years. Some of these guys that posted, there's, I don't know how many, <laughs> countless. We've got hundreds of comments on that video. And everybody's like, oh my God, how stupid could I be? You know, yeah, I'm it's 68 just something years you don't old. Think I'm about. 72 Tighten years old. Tighten it up when you get on there and loosen it up, take it back off. It's a game changer. It I, really is. I think one guy in there somewhere along, it might have been on, on a forum, mm -hmm. but he's like, I have been greasing machines. That is my job. I grease every day, all day long. That's what I do. Go around. He says, I'm a mechanic on mm -hmm. you know, factory lines. And he said, I grease fittings. That's what I do. He said, I've never thought of that one time. <laughs> he said, thank you so much. <laughs> Crazy. It's going to save you so much frustration, so many busted knuckles, and so much cussing. Yeah. It's going to make your lives so much easier now. Oh, yeah. One guy <laughs> said he literally just <clears throat> crunched his and threw it in the trash can. He was so mad cussing. And you always think it's the grease gun's problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It couldn't and possibly be worth being stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if there's instructions that say to do that or not. Of course, who reads the instructions us as men on a never grease read gun? instructions on a grease gun. You it's just like, chunk that in the trash. Yeah, it's like, I know how to use a grease gun. I don't need that. You put it on there and squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we don't. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, me men, me make fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. We've got a lot more tips and tricks like this coming in the future, so stick around and check back soon. If you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when new videos come out. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and have a good one, guys. See you next time.